Hi guys, after my last video on Road America for race room racing experience, I was actually missing the old Williams FW31. Um, driving the new race room Formula X17 car felt really nice, but it wasn't as nice as the way I remember the Williams FW31. So I decided to take it onto Road America, the iRacing version, and take it for a few quick burn laps. We enter the final corner, trying to get a lot of speed on the exit to get onto the start finish straight as fast as possible. It's quite a long climb up the hill and as we cross the line, change up to 7th gear and start lining up and getting ready to break into turn 1. Turn 1 is taken really fast, you have to break really late but try not to lock up otherwise you'll run past the apex. I didn't quite hit my apex but it's still not a big issue. The plan with both turn 1 and turn 2 is to try and use as much curb as possible without upsetting the car. As we race down towards turn 5 which is a heavy braking zone and probably the prime overtaking spot on the track, it's very very important not to lock your brakes. Clip a bit of the inside apex, run as wide as possible and be careful on the brakes under the bridge. The car gets very light and it's easy to lock up. This corner I tried to take flat out but I wasn't feeling the car at that point. As I head into the carousel, um, it almost felt like I could take it flat out like with the Formula X17. But with this car, this track, you can't do it. You need to actually feather the throttle just a fraction, uh, balance the car on the apex and try and carry as much speed without compromising lap time. As we head down towards Canada corner, you have to brake very late, but clip a little bit of curb on the inside, use as much of the exit curb as possible, and line up for the second last corner. This corner also can't be taken flat out, but damn close to flat out. Final corner, use a fair amount of exit curb early on the throttle, and get ready for the climb up towards the start finish straight. This was my fastest lap in my four lap stint. I really, really enjoyed driving this car again after a long time. Thumbs up if you guys like this video and thumbs down if you didn't and don't forget to subscribe.